I probably can't do anything here either. Oh, there it is. Or not. Oh then. Nothing I can do right now. Haha. -ha. Later. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. We gotta talk with Venus again. That's why I did the thingy. Let's see. We gotta talk. Oh, I already checked the mailbox. Oh, I have to check an email too. Oh, okay. There, another message. Meet someone at another location across the street from a bar. Most likely the one. I don't believe there's actually. I don't think there's anything over there. All right, might as well talk to Venus while we're here. So I can't talk to her at all. Damn. What? Your message was delivered, goddess. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Done. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. <laughs> Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get into the club business, hmm? Hmm, I was distracted by the voices. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Babble until exhaustion, goddess. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat, misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. I will become Mars to save you from Vulcan, love goddess. He's at the Empire Hotel. Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to outsneer each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. I'll return and begin my post as Vicious Beat Commander. Now we go back to the other hotel again. Top floor, yes. Wait, 
Oh, okay, now it lets me. I guess I go this way. What's in here? Seven. I'm not high enough for that one. Ah! Ah! For what reason? Feast! Sudden sustained bleeding. In another news, an apparent third victim of the Southland slasher has been Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slaves in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the minds of the victims were described as ripped, torn, bloody entrails smeared upon the walls, splatter on broken windows, feet in weird places. Murder, murder, murder. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Naked Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the miraculously. We done? All right then. There is big. Also, I got two books. Yes, uh, Kendo and No Means No. There's this brawl. You gain insight, willpower, and form in your first two years of Kendo. Now you're ready for the secrets of Kendo Masters. Here's one ancient rule that every war warrior must remember only one can land the killing strike. Hit the kill zone or hit nothing. If you cannot uh, control your attack, you are dead. This book will raise his melee. It will raise it to four, I believe. And the other one will raise my brawl to four. So, yeah, I'm going to be selling that book to Fat Larry so I can go pick up more copies. Someone in here. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, I just went around a circle. Okay, I missed wherever I was supposed to go, clearly. All right. Which I don't think it's here, but... Okay, so maintenance. 
if they exhibit symptoms that include fever, hacking cough, nausea, rashes or sores, painful discharges, or sudden sustained bleeding. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slains in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victim. Clearly the ones over here. What the hell do you think you're doing? Okay. I'm Harold of the Gods with a message for your ears. Maniac, who let you in? Dima, put this mad dog down. Your friends hate you, they plot your death, they will betray you. You kill me, huh? Take my place? All I do for you? Traitor! I show you. <sighs> We're done here. And there you are. Finished yet? Let's enter your office. Or, or your orifice. What? Let's enter your orifice. Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Done. Boris? The Tsar has fallen. Is that Boris's blood? Guess we're partners, then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? I return as often as the stars, goddess. Alright, we're all done here, Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another ward for you. I don't see enough sitting out there. Thinking I may have had to talk to her later. Uh, Patty is who I'm referring to. So I distinctly remember that I could send her over to Pisha for being such a bitch to me. Alright. 
This one's shiny and blue. Oh, nothing. Okay. Nothing of interest. Here we are, my man. My man, what is up? Check it out, check it out, step right up. David Duchovny sick, signed, sealed, and certified. Huh. Yo, 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 I got dinosaur eggs. We don't know what kind. David Duchovny sick, signed, sealed, and certified. Yo, man, got a Galapagos turtle. This week only. David Duchovny sick. My man. Don't walk on by. I look like Dion Warwick. My man. David Duchovny sick. Sign, seal, and certified. David Duchovny sick. My man. I believe that's it for those. Yep. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, now my brawl is at, yeah, there's a reason why I did that. <laughs> sure, it's like taking advantage of the system, but you know, whatever, I don't give a shit. It is worth investing into firearms later in the game, at the very least. Get out, step right up. One particular boss in the game. Firearms. Having some points in the firearms is very, very helpful. Now then, the hospital's right up ahead. Talk to Pisha real quick. The Kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. Understood. Tell me more of the prizes I can win. Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession. Though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. I will make this trade. Tell me of the museum prize. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. And the other prize? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. I wonder something from the widow. Yes. Does the widow, widow wish to trap death in her web? Death is the ultimate dilemma, and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Yes. I don't think she has anything yes. else for me.
I don't believe there's anything else I can do here. Place was this way, yes. This chantry. They said place across the bar, which it would be this place over here, I believe. The bar was... No, the bar's right there, so this place. Like, yeah, this spot I saw earlier. Please! bad. Well, that explains that. Ooh, stereo. Lucky star. Key. Ah, uh, you find... Found the shred belly Milton. There was nowhere to be found. You find a key to the Lucky Star Hotel, though. Did you see it? Tell your eyes to speak. These two guys, the dead guy and another, and the, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the homeboy of the headless one? A dead feller called him Muddy. Tell me the dirty deeds of Muddy and the headless henchmen. Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Ah, the shadow called Killer stepped from his dark domain. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. What did the shadows then reveal? Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What words from this dark devil? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did, or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was, and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow, and made the guy scream. So we'll place you in a pad cell. Silence if you love your freedom. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to never think about that again. Let's go talk to nines and uh, anarchs and stuff. What's about chasing you in here, Cammy? You You're the damsel of distress, yes? I'm damsel. Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass! The only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. I'd give you a piece of my mind, seeing as how you're just another do-boy for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it?
The words of seven and eights I ignored, but to nines I listened. All right. Maybe you're not completely bastard. The warlock chief says you sh children spread disease. That goddamn blood witch told you what? He thinks we're responsible for that plague bearer? If I hadn't promised nines I'd keep my nose clean, I'd go over right now and rip him a new wizard shoot. Magic missile casting motherfucker! Plague bearer? This word is unfamiliar to me. A plague bearer's a fool, but doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And if they're sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Can you just shoo the city, the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. My body bloats with boredom. I will do this. One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. I will touch this ghoul in his mind's secret places. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. I will spread my mind around the city of angels. See you, damn sail. What did you just say? Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What errand does the prince have you running today, boy? The jester plays his little games and sends his little pawn before him. Jester? What the hell did you say? You're not Kate, right? Oh, you double screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince is bitch. Little pawn, you say? Greetings, Helter Skelter. That shit is creepy. Anyway, yeah. My name is Skelton. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. I see key, the name of numbers. So then go on up and see it. You're free to do as you please here. When I get to bottom, I'll go back up to the top of the slide. Farewell. What's up? I have wisdom about your about my carnivorous condition. You gotta understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel... I feel the blood of a familiar friend. That blood is a tangle of chains that's gonna leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Yours are a genitalist jumble. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will, and it'll make you obey. How do I break these ancient chains? That shit stretches all the way back to Cain. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you don't feel that shit. Like it or not. Do you speak of the Dark Father? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. He killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. So never shit, man. Do you believe in such a boogeyman? Keep your voice down. Is Kane real? I don't know. Not sure I want to know. I would offer him a worm-free apple, but where do you go with these words? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Do you hide behind the Masquerade's field? I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The Masquerade is a fruity Camarilla label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with you. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Hallelujah and Holly Rockers. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, tell me the answer. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Ah, oh, yeah. Is Patty the name of this ghoulish girl? Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about, girl. 
Is this Patty a prickly problem? She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and she ain't so fun no more. Tell her that her sugar daddy has lost his sweetness. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. It's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. What heat do you speak of? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. About the prickly problem with the ghoulish patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? I'll take this mission for the masquerade. All right. Have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know her sire. Just let me know when it's done. May I mind your gray matter? Yeah. Or you curse the Camarilla. The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. Masquerade. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? My head is a burning bush. Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fail. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn command? Words were truth like a well-fitted truss. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. Followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam, but it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. Tell me of Entropy's childer. The Anarchs, we are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife, my friend. Your words are lofty, but you kneel to nines. No one bows to nines, Rodriguez. He leads by example, down here with us. Better than some chicken shit, limp wrist paper pusher hiding up in his tower. Camarilla sheep couldn't see the difference. I am no longer here. There's Jack, too. Let's talk of nines. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. More! You've got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those Kendricks sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. When it works out to exist, only a few people at the top have any real power. Aren't we all just one big... <laughs> nah. The prince is not the head of the, fa the head vampire. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix is just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Let me hear your truth. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch free state. Free state? Well, I usually just walk off with the stuff anyhow. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. You and the Prince don't golf on the weekends? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Are you the Prince of Thieves and these are your merry men? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, 
I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Meet with them. Baloney all around. I got their meeting right here. My mind is still soft. Any shape I should set it in? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. Teach me the razzmatazz. You probably already know the basics, so anything I show you is gonna take a while, and I'll need it elsewhere. Interesting words I will say for them. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I've got my eye on you, kid. Eek, squishy. Sorry, Hugo. But I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. What's up, Jack? Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. How in Santa Monica, kiddo? The lady was sad and beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? I whipped around with the wooden ball, but procured no prize. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. Probably too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Right as Red Rain. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> the Jesters has sent me to Elizabeth Dane's ship of slaughter. Oh, really? Are your undead years hard of hearing? The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? We swapped words with, about the talisman, terrible talisman. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Tell me more of this curious coffin. The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him at the roof. And for centuries he's been sawing logs? Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away, and when they wake up, they're hungry. Is there a point to your ponificing demon? It's more than that, you know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Is this real or a wife's tale? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. I slip easily from truthless tongues. Well, kiddo, I guess you're going to be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> Why did the Jester send me to Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Why does the Jester fear the shadow of Nines? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Ventura are born in a poor room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Why does the Jester fear the Shadow of Nines? Isn't he chief? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a <the> boss. <laughs> That's rich. Even a Jester may parade in the King's cloak. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free-living vampires they need to be ruled is a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play-nicey plan. 
Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Explain this everyone. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. What the hell that means? Anarchs. Those got a nice kick to it though, huh? <laughs> yeah. I seek knowledge of Anarch child of, child of entropy. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long have they raged? How long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Powers in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around, seen more, and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever going to be easy, but some things you got to decide are worth fighting for. How do I win such a Gordian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> Does Nine share your grizzly visions? You bet, kid. Is Nine the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain is wired to that shit. Your words also betray a pleasure for politics. Me? I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. What blood runs in Nines' veins? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Hey, mind your gray matter? Moving right along. Put me on the Camarilla. Oh, my favorite topic. You give no credit to the Camarilla codes? Don't think the Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? Truth wears many faces. Their fists are their your own. The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it. The end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. Does the Jester Prince wear a crown? Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the streets, that's for sure. Croy has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. This is entitled to hear their own voices. Ah, to hell with LaCroix. I blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince. He's a prince. Have you danced with such gestures before? Ah, he's a typical Ventrue asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. What do you know of the Jester's Hound? Oh, the Sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped up gorilla. What else did you need some truth about? That's us, so I'm Moving right up. Again? Does everything have to be about these dickheads? Not if it doesn't have to be. The Saban are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though. Like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. The curse of Cam what is their major malfunction? The Sabat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Moving right. I don't think there's anything else I have, really. What's on your. Tell me the hapless humans. What about them? You concern yourself with kind? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> you know, if one got killed, the bitch didn't cry, but, you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport, either. They blow wind of Kendra Tempest. Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. Okay, done talking to peoples for now. Er Okay, let's see. Report to the Prince. That's for the next major story part. 
Uh, Tisha. Oh, right, yeah, we gotta talk to Patty as well. Maybe we'll set you on his trail. Speak of goal at Skyline Apartments or talking to bums around the city. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to know the disease that haunts the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Sing a song of shaft sickness, solace one. Oh, okay. All I know is that old tin can bill. He's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. That's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where's the man of the cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Farewell, my bedraggled beauty. I used to be a brother, you know. So it's that other spot, uh, further down this way, then. Yes, maybe. Maybe not this one. <laughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. I see you are wear the Dark Brother's mask. <laughs> Dark Brother? What are you talking about? It's just me, old Tin Can Bill. Now leave an old man alone to sleep in peace. I don't want to be bothered unless you've got a bottle to share. May the shadows of the past haunt your present. Speak. There's a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly. Teeth longer than your finger. And these eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. Ah, tell me of the Dark Brother's lair. <laughs> up through the sewers he did just around the corner there <coughs> don't want to go back to the bad place friend <coughs> don't let the monster come back and take me there <coughs> protect thyself hoochmeister the beast your brother will pay the price for your puncturing Rip. going that way. Let's just do a quick save, you know. On your way down here, did you? <laughs> Following the smell of entrails and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little 
Bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. This, this place is a maelstrom of madness. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle held. What do you pray in society's dregs? They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Beast your brother you are. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Dante, Dante, doom and devils. The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> I'll stand no more for the spreading of your sickness. Come, join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Yes, we will dance this devilish Jervis until you are dead. Oh, yeah. Ah! Cheap shot, my dude. Owie! You hurt. That guy. Okay, we got he's getting a little fucky here. Something. Oh, this one too. Alright, I can swim. Alright, uh, how do I swim again? Uh, how do I swim again? I forgot, swimming controls are a thing. Not that. Uh, controls, uh, swim down B and V. Gotcha. Uh, we shall save though, just to be on the safe side. I don't think I can drown or anything, obviously. Like, 
feel like I'm missing something here. I'm not sure what it is. And this kind of annoys me. feel really dumb when I figure it out. Oh, it really, okay, so you could jump that, that high. Never mind. Rat. Another rat. I feel like it might be might have been just a shortcut. Yep, uh, it looks like it was just another shortcut in case you yep. Because you had high enough block lock picking in general. Please let me leave. Oh good, that quest is done. Carrier pigeon is extinct. Right on. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. More pigeons for this catch to ca cat to catch. I begin my prowl. I talk to the girl at the Skyline Apartments.
wrong. Hey, you. Look, I'm sorry about before. You see, I'm a very passionate person about everything, about art, entertainment, love. Kent says that is why he chose me. I found the Kent Allen Ryan. You are totally awesome. Well, it just goes to show you that you don't have to dress cool or have a lot of power to be a cool person. So, where is Kent? He raves, no plans to rave at the bottom of the abandoned hospital. Oh, that is totally Kent. He's so like that. I better go find him. He needs my help to do anything. Thanks again. I'm sure if you do, he'll be happy to have his pet back. Have fun. <laughs>